I've been challenged by Nona Grace to give five reasons why I YouTube. And Nona, first of all, I thank you for this this uh, tag. I've never been tagged by anyone before, and so what a what a wonderful uh, reason to respond to the tag because it came from you. And all of you who listen to Nona Grace, you you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to start off with my number one reason, and I am not being over dramatic when I tell you. My number one reason is YouTube literally saved my life. In June of 2017, I had a life-changing experience. I was overweight. I weighed 212 pounds. I was wearing a size 22 dress. And all of my life, ever since I was about 20, I've done the diets. I've done Weight Watchers. I've done... Jenny Craig, I've done, you name it, I've done it. And and I have a bookcase over there that still has probably 20 diet books. And, and I could lose four pounds off of any diet I ever tried, but at four pounds I would stop. In, in June of 2017, my husband and I went on a little trip and I literally could not walk up some stairs. And, and of course, I'm trying to act like I've got it all together and don't want anybody to see my problem. But a man behind me, when I finally got up to the top stair, he said, Whew, you did it. And, and I know he was being encouraging, but it angered me because I was thinking, how dare anybody notice that I'm so out of shape, I can't even <laughs> climb the stairs. So anyway, I came home from that trip and I cried in my husband's arms one time and I said, Honey, you know that I have been struggling with my weight for years. And I said, You know that, that I, when I do go on a diet, I, I give it my all. I, I'm not a cheater. And I don't always call it a diet. I call it a lifestyle. I realize that. But I, I truly didn't know what to do anymore. So I got on YouTube and I typed in how to lose weight when diets don't work. And I started seeing things about intermittent fasting and uh, how the, all of the diets I had been on before were so restrictive in fats and it turns out your body needs good fats and so one of the ones that I listened to the most was Butter Bob Briggs and uh, he, he says butter makes your pants fall off so I started following, following Butter Bob Briggs and all lo and behold I started losing weight and uh, about the same time the grandkids came and visited and we were so thrilled to have the grandkids and, and I made pico de gallo and the kids didn't know what tomatillos were and they had never had pico de gallo before and on and on. But uh, so after watching Butter Bob and the grandkids being there and also asking me how I'd lost the weight and different things. It just made me think, well, maybe I need to, now that I'm learning these things, maybe I need to start paying back because freely I received and, and we're supposed to freely give. And uh, I do like cooking. And I was watching another lady that I really like. Her name is Phyllis Stokes. And she was telling a story about finding a tea cake recipe that her husband had wanted her to find for years and she finally found it. Well, when she said that story, I'm going, well, I have an exact same story. And my third video, in fact, was about my uh, finding my own grandmother's tea cake recipe that I had looked for for 30 years. But, so all these things just came together at once and I thought, well, if Phyllis Stokes can just tell stories and do recipes, so can I. 
And so I did my first one and, and I was so nervous that if a, if a body language expert was watching me, they could tear me up. But anyway, so I, I did it and, and I got some good re replies from my family and that was what was important to me. Number two reason is knowledge. Bruce and I are not technically skilled in anything, but we're kind of jack of all trades. And Bruce has learned how to, how to take the car struts off and replace them. He's learned how to take the electric windows apart and replace a motor when they stopped working. He's learned plumbing. He's just daily, he's honing his skills in general maintenance. And I'm daily honing my skills in the things that I like. Uh, my interests run in cooking, gardening, homesteading, raising animals, any of the home homemaking arts I, I like. And I not only learn from the actual videos that I'm watching, but I learn from the people, the people's comments. I probably spend as much time reading comments as I do watching the videos. And you people, you come across, you just come across and, and it's so rich. My education is getting so rich because of you. And it's humbling to me that now that people have started sub subscribing to me, it humbles me that you find some value in what I'm doing. Now, and some of these things overlap. Number three would be friendship. Bruce and I uh, do live out in the country. We're a little away from our actual physical friends and we are a long way away from our actual physical family. But because of the interaction and the networking that we have been able to establish through YouTube, it fills in the gaps. And so we're so grateful for that. Number four is sharing. You share and share and share. Not only do you share your knowledge, but you also share your personal stories. And, and I find that very inspiring. And that is important because so many times we sit here and we think, gosh, I wonder if anybody else has ever felt like this, or am I the only one who, whatever. And so when you share your feelings and your emotions and, and those kind of things, it, it just cements that understanding that people do have the same struggles and when we pull together we can help each other overcome those struggles and that's very important is overcoming and number five is inspiration because of the sharing and the friendship and the knowledge we get inspired just like phyllis stokes even though she doesn't know me she inspired me to start making videos so that's my five reasons Number one, it saved my life. Number two, knowledge. Number three, friendship. Number four, sharing. And number five, inspiration. Now, my challenge is to ask three others to give their reasons that they YouTube. And uh, so I'm going to choose you now. And, and I have to look. I have to cheat. <laughs> Number one, and, and I know he gets chosen a lot, but he, he truly was an inspiration to me. He used to be Sapper Gardener, but now he's S.A. Young's Garden. Number two is Bear Fruit Gardener, and uh, she's just funny. I, I like her. She lifts me up. Number three is a brand new friend. I met this friend literally in Walmart, but we are close. We're within an hour's drive of each other, and I just got some duck eggs, and uh, we're wanting to raise ducks this year. 
And Hami, Hami Biscuits has a new incubator, and she said that she would, she would uh, hatch those duck eggs out on the halves. And she came over and visited with me just this morning and picked up my duck eggs. So maybe in about a month, we'll have some baby ducks. But her name is Hami Biscuits. So those are my three. Sapper Gardener, who is now S.A. owns. Uh, Bear Fruit Gardener and Hami Biscuits. Once again, Nona, I thank you for, for nominating me. And, and I hope y'all have enjoyed my five reasons. Thank you.